Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host, Leon Idol, and this isn't something I would normally cover. You know, video game news, unless it's got some sort of political edge to it one way or the other, isn't really up my alley. That being said, I'm going to make an exception, because Shinji Mikami is my favorite video game director of all time. The man was, and is, and will always be an absolute legend. While he didn't necessarily create Resident Evil, he did create Resident Evil as we know it today. Everything from Resident Evil 2 onward, he had a massive hand in with being the creator of Resident Evil 4, and of course acclaimed series like The Evil Within. So him retiring is absolutely, it's tragic. Uh, we all knew the day would come at some point. He'd even mentioned in the past that it would be coming re sooner rather than later. But I want to go over this article and just all of us remember the fine, fine career of Shinji Mikami. Shinji Mikami, Resident Evil mastermind leaving studio he founded. Bethesda confirmed the legendary designer will leave Tango Gameworks. Nice, nice photo of Mikami right here. You wouldn't know the guy's like in his 50s, I believe, or almost 50. I mean, looks good. Shinji Mikami, famed Japanese game designer, best known for his work on the Resident Evil series, has decided to leave Tango Gameworks after founding the studio over 10 years ago, according to a True Achievements report that was corroborated by Bethesda on Twitter. Mikami's career spans a variety of games and genres. Yeah, because for those of you that don't know, before he worked on Resident Evil, he made the DuckTales and Goof Troop games for, like, the Nintendo or, or, or whatever. Quite a jump from working on, you know, Donald Duck and Goofy to freaking Resident Evil. Mikami is a legendary game designer at this point, an old head in the industry who's been around since the 90s, where he started at Capcom. While his first big game as a designer at the Japanese studio was a 1993 action-adventure game, Goof Troop, for the SNES, he leveled up and directed the adventure horror classic for Re Resident Evil in 1996. This game wound up doing gangbusters numbers for Capcom, catapulting Mikami into stardom and solidifying Resident Evil as the tentpole horror franchise we know today. And don't we love it, folks? He's since worked on a number of Resident Evil games throughout his Capcom tenure as either an advisor, director, producer, or writer while cutting his teeth on other story projects. This includes the survival horror series Dino Crisis, the 2000 hack and slash action adventure game Onimusha Warlords, a fave of the writers apparently, and 2001 action adventure game Devil May Cry, which, you know, started off as a Resident Evil game, fun fact. The 2003 side scrolling beat em up Beautiful Joe, one more favorite of the writer, the writer got good taste, he likes Shinji Mikami, good taste. So many more. He's also served as an executive producer for a handful of Phoenix Wright games. The man's resume is long, y'all. And while his resume is long, I think it will get even longer. I don't think that even though he's leaving Bethesda, leaving Tango Game Marks, I don't think he's retiring. He has said very interesting things about retirement in the past, so I get that that might be what's on the table right now. It might even be what's being claimed by the news, by the media, even by Mikami himself. But I don't think he'll be able to stay away. Just like so many other actors and basically any sort of creative type claims they're going into retirement, but then they come right out when they realize the creative juices are still flowing. I bet that'll happen to Mikami if he says he's retiring. I don't think that's even been stated yet. And now the story game developer is starting a new chapter in that resume in a company-wide Zenimax email viewed by True Architects, Bethesda's Senior Vice President of Development, Todd Vaughn, delivered the news of Mikami's departure. Though unclear when he's leaving, Vaughn said Mikami plans to dip out of Tango Gameworks in the coming months. I am writing today to let you know the studio head Shinji Mikami has decided to leave Tango Gameworks in the coming months, Vaughn said. Mikami-san has been a creative leader and supportive mentor to young developers at Tango for 12 years through his work on The Evil Within, Ghostwire Tokyo, and of course, Hi-Fi Rush. Bethesda then confirmed the news today on Twitter, thanking Mikami for his work and saying it's excited about Tango Gameworks' future. Now I've had some thoughts on this for a long while now. For, for many a moon have I opined over Shinji Mikami working with Bethesda. I like Bethesda fine. I'm a massive Fallout fan. I love the Evil Within franchise, which you know we only got from Bethesda thanks to you know Shinji Mikami. I uh, don't know how I feel about the company as a whole, though. Just because I like a couple of the games, think the, the gameplay is fun, think the stories are cool, doesn't alter the fact that I think that Bethesda as a company are actually part of the problem when it comes to modern gaming. And I never really enjoyed the fact that Shinji Mikami was with that company. I mean, don't get me wrong, Capcom had always had its problems. Um, and frankly, goes back a whole lot further than Bethesda. But there was just something off about Shinji Mikami working with Bethesda. Maybe it's because it's always felt like a truly American company and there's quite definitely a disconnect between Japanese game development and American game development. But most of those fears were put to bed when Evil Within came out and then those fears were killed on the spot if they were, you know, there left at all when Evil Within 2 came out because, I mean, those games were stellar. They were masterpieces. I think I prefer the first one, but the second one is almost near as good. Um, but for whatever reason, Shinji Mikami, to me, when I hear his name, I still think of Capcom. I still think of the classic Shinji Mikami games, despite his great work at Bethesda. So, I honestly think of this as a good thing, 
I don't know if he ever really, in the minds of, of other people, maybe there are more like me out there who are fans that think that maybe he was too good for Bethesda or that he didn't really fit into the, the at least perceived culture that Bethesda throws out to the world. So yeah, they can say they wish him a well future and are excited for what lies, uh, you know, lies ahead for the studio, and that's all probably very well and true, but... I wonder how the studio is going to do without Mikami. He kind of was Tango Gameworks, at least in my estimation. You know, it, it would be like trying to make a Star Wars movie without George Lucas at the helm. You just can't do it. Mikami elevated the lesser known with Tango Gameworks. After spending about two decades at Capcom, Mikami worked with Platinum Games to release the 2010 third-person shooter Vanquish, which wasn't very great. In the same year, he founded Tango Gameworks, which was almost immediately acquired by Bethesda Softworks' parent company, Zenimax Media. Four years later, in 2014, Mikami returned to his scary roots to direct the survival horror game The Evil Within. It garnered a pretty positive reception, leading a sequel to a sequel in 2017. It was during this game's development that Mikami started to take a back seat, opting to serve as a producer while supervising the game's progress. Which, to be fair, that's nothing new. I mean, Mikami was a producer on Resident Evil 2, he was a producer on Resident Evil 3, I think he was a producer on Code Veronica, I think he was the producer on Resident Evil 4. Him being a producer is absolutely nothing new. Tango would go on to release the 2022 open-world action-adventure game Ghostwire Tokyo and this year's rhythm-based action game Hi-Fi Rush, both of which would be Mikami's last projects as the studio's executive producer. He's leaving on a high note. Well, that's good, because I've heard mixed things about Hi-Fi Rush. Mikami leaving Tango Gameworks is a bummer. He's worked on so many varied games, proving his creativity knows no bounds. He also helped propel the careers of those through Tango Gameworks, most notably Ikumi Nakamura, an artist who worked on The Evil Within and Okami before stepping into the creative direct role for a director role for Ghostwire Tokyo. On the studio's official website, Mikami said he wanted to create a place for young creators to challenge themselves, pointing to the many talented creators in Japan that don't have access to the same opportunities. Respect, man. Absolute respect. This is a man who used his power to elevate the obscure and unknown, something you don't see too often anymore. And maybe that's why I said what I said earlier about, you know, it being a, an American company, because that's true, you don't really see this sort of thing anymore. At least you don't see it in the culture of American video games, or really in American culture at all. But I do see something like this when it comes to, to Japanese. I can absolutely believe that this is a thing for Japanese culture and Japanese game design and game creation, uh, unless your name is Yuji Naka. But maybe there was more going on behind the scenes than I realized. While Mikami said in December 2020 he could direct one last game, it's unclear what's next for the famed Japanese game designer now. But here's hoping Mikami stays in the games industry to continue the work he sought out to do at Tango Gameworks. That of elevating lesser known creatives to diversify the types of games we see in the world. And you know what? That's that. I got no major message I want to throw out to you guys in this video. No political opining. Nothing to do with, you know, the Matt Walsh stuff yesterday. Or nothing to do with my thoughts on, you know, Disney going down the toilet because of agendas. You know, nothing like that. I just wanted to kind of reflect and think about the, the great games that, that Shinji Mikami has given us. I mean, I grew up on this man. I think a lot of us have grown up on this man. Um, yeah, again, I mean, the only tattoo I have, as I showed earlier, was a re is a Resident Evil tattoo. The the series has impacted my life, but he's, he's done work on so much other things besides Resident Evil, just because that's my favorite. I gotta acknowledge the rest. I mean, the article talked about it. Beautiful Joe, Devil May Cry, the man is a legend, and... I can't decide if I want him to retire or not at this point. Yes, he's leaving Tango Gameworks, but he's not officially said if he's retiring. And part of me is like, man, go out on a high note. You have an incredible legacy. Quit now while you're ahead. But maybe he's got more stories to tell, and yeah, there's that risk they could be great or they could be awful, but if he's got more stories to tell and more games to create, that's just more entertainment for us from, in my opinion, one of the last truly good individuals in the gaming space. I mean, I, I can't really name anyone in the gaming space that isn't a Japanese developer that I care about anymore, especially uh, uh, American gaming has gone off the rails. Oh no, I guess I am turning this video into a sort of message. I'll, I'll keep it quick. American gaming has kind of gone off the rails when it comes to developers, in my opinion. But with people like Shinji Mikami, with obviously Nintendo greats like Miyamoto, there is still awesome talent out there, and I don't want to see them go away, but I also don't want to see them well, kind of like we're probably about to see, you know, Indiana Jones in the new Harrison Ford movie. Broken shadows of their former selves that the public and audiences don't care about anymore. I don't think that's going to happen with any of these Japanese creators, at least not yet. But I'm worried it's going to get to that point because they feel like they'll owe it to themselves to stay in the game as long as possible, given the state of modern gaming. But, you know, that's just me projecting onto other individuals I've never met for a culture I'm not a part of, for an industry that I know nothing about aside from I throw money at it now and again. So, I want to know what you guys think. Shinji Mikami is leaving Tango Gameworks. Is that good? Is that bad? 
Do you want him to retire? Do you want him to keep making games? Let me know in the comments below or let me know on Twitter where you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I do nerdy videos every day, mostly nerdy news videos, so check out that back catalog. I got new videos about the Lightyear movie. Yeah, there's new information on that. Joker 2, you know, with Harley Quinn, Star Wars, Magic the Gathering, the list goes on, so please do subscribe. And remember, it's all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise. It's Ryan Colt Levy, the voice of Denji, a.k.a. Chainsaw Man, and you are watching Words of Paradise.